Hello, my friends, viewers, and followers. Today is Good Friday, and we are going to pray today the way of the cross. Just a short little meditation and remembrance of the suffering of Christ. The Stations of the Cross. So, begin by expressing sorrow for all the sins of your life and rejecting all attachment to sin. If possible, move from station to station, say, before each station, uh, this following prayer. We adore thee, O Christ, and we bless thee, because by the holy cross thou hast redeemed the world. Genuflect at the word because, and remain, maybe even on your knee, arise after redeemed the world. So, uh, when we say because, you can fall to your knee and stand up or sit up again after redeem the world. So first, begin by expressing sorrow for all of your sins of your life and reject all attachment to sin. First station. Jesus is condemned to death. It was for our sins, O Jesus, that you were condemned to suffer. Grant that we may detest our sins and by this repentance obtain your mercy and pardon. We adore thee, O Christ, and we bless thee because thy holy cross thou hast redeemed the world. So uh, we say that before the Stations of the Cross, the prayer, so let's do it again. We adore thee, O Christ, and we bless thee, because by the Holy Cross thou hast redeemed the world. Second Station. Jesus is burdened with a cross. O Jesus, grant us by virtue of your cross, and that we may accept the difficulties of the state with meekness and cheerful submission May we always be ready to take up our cross and follow you. We adore thee, O Christ, and we bless thee, because by the holy cross thou hast redeemed the world. Third station. Jesus falls the first time. O Jesus, it was for our sins that you bore the heavy burden of the cross and fell under its weight. May the thought of your suffering make us watchful ours, over ourselves and save us from falling into sin. We adore thee, O Christ, and we bless thee, because thy holy cross, thy holy cross, thou hast redeemed the world. Fourth station. Jesus needs a sorrowful mother. O oh, Jesus, by the compassion which you felt for your mother, have compassion on us and give us a share in her intercession. Our most afflicted mother, intercede for us, that through the suffering of your son, we may bear with courage the sorrows of this life. We adore thee, O oh Christ, and we bless thee, because by the holy cross thou hast redeemed the world. The fifth station. O oh Jesus, just as Simon relieved you of your burden, inspire us to console you by our prayers of reparation and love. We adore thee, O oh Christ, and we bless thee because thy holy cross thou hast redeemed the world. The sixth station. Veronica wipes the face of Jesus. O oh Jesus, may we, the contemplation of your holy face enkindle in our hearts a fervent love for you and may your image be graven on our minds and soul until we are transformed into your likeness. We adore thee, O oh Christ, and we bless thee because by thy holy cross thou hast redeemed the world. Seventh station. Jesus falls a second time. O Jesus, our repeated, 
Your, our repeated falls into sin have added to the burden which you carried for our redemption. As you are weakened by the weight of our sins, we are the cause of this second fall. Please give us the strength never to offend you again. We adore thee, O Christ, and we bless thee, because by thy holy cross thou hast redeemed the world. Eighth station. Jesus speaks to the women of Jerusalem. O Jesus, just as you instructed the women of Jerusalem, please instruct us in the ways of virtue and help us to escape the dreadful judgments prepared for all who reject or neglect you in this life. We adore thee, O Christ, and we bless thee, because by the holy cross thou hast redeemed the world. Nine station. Jesus falls a third time. O Lord Jesus, we entreat you by the merits of this third most painful fall to pardon our frequent relapses and our long continuances in sin. May the thought of your suffering grieve us and move us to make frequent acts of love and reparation. We adore thee, O Christ, and we bless thee, because by thy holy cross thou hast redeemed the world. Tenth station. Jesus is stripped of his garments. O Jesus, by the pain you suffered in having your clothes torn from your bleeding body, please strip us of all conceit and pride and instruct us in the ways of humility, purity, and of intention and simplicity of heart. We adore thee, O Christ, and we bless thee, because by thy holy cross thou hast redeemed the world. Eleventh station. Jesus is nailed to the cross. As you were nailed to the cross, O Jesus, fasten our hearts there also, that they may be united to you until death. We adore thee, O Christ, we bless thee, because by thy holy cross thou hast redeemed the world. Twelfth station, Jesus dies on the cross. O Jesus, we devoutly embrace the holy cross, whereon you loved us, even unto death. We thank you for your sacrifice, and we desire to love you as much as you love us. We adore thee, O Christ, and we bless thee, because by the holy cross thou hast redeemed the world. 13th station. Jesus is laid in the arms of his holy mother. We grieve with you, O Mary, for the sorrows you experienced as you examined the wounds on the body of your dear son. By these sacred wounds, may we obtain pardon and mercy for our sins. We adore thee, O Christ, and we bless thee, because by the holy cross thou hast redeemed the world. The last station, the 14th station, Jesus is laid in the tomb. O Jesus, someday our bodies will also be placed in a tomb, freed from the bonds of this earth. May we then be received into heaven by you and your Holy Mother, so that we may praise you and love you for all eternity. Amen. This were, these were the Stations of the Cross. I hope you enjoyed them. And you keep this holy day of fasting. This is the greatest fasting day of the entire year is Good Friday, where Jesus was nailed to the cross. Um, usually, even in Mass, um, it, a lot of the times, a Holy Communion is not served today. And tomorrow is Saturday is a very silent day. So nothing happens because on the first day, Jesus got crucified. The second day, nothing happened. And on the third day, he rose with Easter and we're celebrating Easter and we're rejoicing. So this is actually the greatest uh, fasting day today where we commemorate and remember 
the crucifixion of Christ. I also have some more videos if you're interested in it. One is called, for example, The Passion of Christ, where I go really into detail. It's a very long video. It's very good. It's a very good meditation. I recommend it to you if you'd like to watch some more and join me in prayer. Um, Saturday is a very silent day. And then we are celebrating Christ, heaven risen from the dead. God bless you. And I see you for just a tiny short little message on Easter.